Hello, Rachel here. Welcome to my Slow TV Stitchery. Well, good morning everybody. Thank you for joining me. Um, on with the next corner. Now, I wondered which one to do next because I was thinking about the pace of delivery, as it were. And I think the thing to do is to do this bottom corner and then this one, which will probably take several sessions, judging by how long that took. I've got very nearly three whole blocks of blue and quite a lot of colour change there. So that isn't going to be done in one episode. But this might, and it gives me an opportunity to talk about how I am choosing to tackle where I start with the filling in. And what I want to do um, is to have these points where they turn back on themselves join up. So on the first side, when I started doubling back on myself, I made sure that the, the curves touched and I'm going to do that here. So I'm going to start on the outside and come into this point. And on this one, I'm going to start on the, on the top. I'm going to start on the side and come into that top point. And here in this long corner where I have a lot to do, the turning point is there. So I'm going to start up here. However, just to test my, th my um, process, I'm going to do this little one today. And with a bit of luck, we will get to do all of it. I might get to do more, but let's see. Now, and yes, it's cold enough from two layers of mittens. trick here is going to be to have it under the right sort of tension at the right time. These things are never as straightforward as you might expect them to be. And Well, we'll see. The trick is going to be getting the right tension when I'm turning it round. As I always say, the thing which you expect to be difficult so often isn't, and the thing that you expect to just happen easily never does. And I was thinking, 
first thing in the morning, nice good light, I might not need my magnifiers, and I do. However, nice thing about putting the mag putting the magnifiers on is you put them on and everything comes rushing towards you and you can see. And now you'll see, as we come back to where I started this chord, that actually it's not going to be at all obvious to somebody looking at it from the vantage point even of less than a foot away, where the cut thread starts and that's what I was hoping for um, I was determined to make sure that the that there were points like this where the curves met but I was really hoping that I could ensure that there was nothing really to reveal too easily where the threads came in and where they turned. So I'm very pleased with this. This looks like it is going to have worked. And that is a gratifying thought.
definite change in the weather. I think it's woolly tights time quite soon. I'm wearing my shoes in indoors instead of padding around barefoot. reason I am having real trouble keeping the thread in the needle again. Now I've been wondering since it's looking increasingly as though we're going to spend at least the autumn in some variation on confinement, lockdown, whatever you want to call it. Um, when I get this one finished, would people like me to continue doing slow TV stitchery just as the odd half hour while I work on one of my long-standing works in paused progress just so that you have the odd 20 minutes of somebody prattling and doing something pretty just I hope it'll be pretty um, I have in mind um, a piece of canvas work that I'm doing based on oh it's not May Morris it's one of the Glasgow school Margaret MacDonald I think based on a Margaret MacDonald panel we conceived an angel for a Christmas angel and I finished the angel but I haven't finished her gold work background um, canvas work pattern so that would be something that I can set up on a frame if people are interested and continue to do slow TV for you. Let me know if that's something people would like. Um, and I'll see what can be done.
The music, by the way, for those who are interested, is um, from a CD of recorder music played by Alwyn Fuchs. used to be that the only recorder player that anyone had ever heard of was Michaela Petri. And that is no longer the case. This is the point. I can finish this one off.
two corners done. That's all for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed following along. Happy stitching!